Hello everyone, this is Cam. Today I'm going to do another vinyl update. This is vinyl update 8, and uh, this is generally all the stuff I've acquired over the last month. Um, I know there's CDs and stuff in there, but it's music related items I've acquired, but I still call it vinyl update really. But, uh, <clears throat> we've got all the CDs, uh, a DVD, and a book that I've acquired, and singles and albums as well. So we can start with the book. This is Johnny Cash, The Life. This is written by Robert Hilburn, and this was published a few years ago. Uh, it's got good reviews. When I first heard of this book, it got good reviews. So I thought, yeah, I might as well get it. I mean, I do have another Johnny Cash book as well, another Johnny Cash biography. But I've also got one, a Johnny's autobiography as well. So, yeah, it's got quite a lot of nice, it's got good information, liner notes as well, and pictures. So, yeah, really good. Johnny Cash, The Life. And uh, I'm going to start with some CDs that I've acquired as well. These two I had from my last one, I don't forgot to show them. Probably going to talk about all things because I've got a lot to show, but I'm just going to kind of go through them. Uh, we have Ringo Starr's 1998 album Vertical Man. This uh, should be quite good. I haven't yet heard it, but it should be pretty cool. I don't have that many Ringo albums on CD. I've got Ring a compilation of Ringo's on CD, and I've got Ringo albums on vinyl as well. So this was good to have on vinyl. On CD, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, 1998. And I've got a compilation called The Best 60s Album in the World Ever. And this is two. So this is volume two of the, of the series. There's a few other volumes in there as well, which I might get as well. But got a lot of good songs in here, like... Roy Orbison or Pretty Woman, Day The Monkeys, Daydream Believer, um, Buddy Holly Heartbeat, The Everly Brothers, Kathy's Clown, Louis Armstrong, What a Wonderful World. That's a really, really lovely song, that. The Kinks, You Really Got Me, Steppenwolf, Born to Be Wild. What a rock tune that is. Um, yeah, a lot of good stuff in there. A lot of good stuff in there. 60s is probably one of my favourite music decades. There's the CDs. Double disc set. I've got an online purchase uh, CD. Take it on the run. The best of Audio Speedwagon. Greatest of Audio Speedwagon. I have uh, High and Fidelity on CDs. Well, I have a few kind of pirate CDs of Audio Speedwagon Greatest Hits, which I thought to myself I might want a proper compilation. So I've got this one. I got two CDs from my market just recently. The Rolling Stones, The Beggar Bang. This is their 2005 album. I haven't you heard it? But it should be good. Uh, I've heard. Um, the Rolling Stones second album which I quite like and uh, so yeah I really need to kind of get into their catalogue a bit more and I kind of know their popular songs but I do like the Stones. We have George Harrison, All Things Must Pass, this is the 2001 edition, the, th the 30th anniversary edition released in 2001. Uh, this is, I got the 2014 remastered version from the Apple the Years box which I might do a video on as well so I thought that we've got a book in there, got the lyrics in there, oi! And the, two, the album is on two CDs as it is of course it was originally a three album set and the CD looks like this. Yeah. And there's that. Quite like the inside design that with the that was in uh, Glasgow just recently and I've got some CDs. Um got Bruce Springsteen's latest album, um Western Stars. This has the hit There Goes My Miracle as well as Tuscan Train as well. I haven't yet heard the album, but it should hopefully be good. It came out last month, I think. But yeah, it should hopefully be good. I do quite. Like, I do like Bruce Springsteen as a CD. I really like the design of the CD. I don't, know, I don't know what the cover of the horse, but I like that back picture. He looks like a cowboy in that, <laughs> that picture there. I've uh, got um, Johnny Cash with albums, classics. This has some albums I don't yet have on vinyl, but I might get. But I've got Johnny 99 and now Johnny Cash box set that I'll do a video on. Um, but the others I didn't kind of yet have. The albums were Rockabilly Blues from 1980. CDs all about that. The Baron. The Adventures of Johnny Cash. Johnny 99, which I already have in a box set. And Rainbow, which was his last album for CBS before he was dropped from the label. So yeah. All these albums I might get in vinyl someday, hopefully. Um, are your Speedwagon's album? You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fetch. I've got a couple of more Speedwagon records I've ordered online as well. So I should hopefully get this one in vinyl. Uh, this has the big hit on Roll the Changes and Time for Me to Fly and Say You Love Me or Say Goodnight. So yeah, those are good songs, isn't it? That's 1978 that originally came out. I have the Essential Bruce Springsteen. This is the original 2003 edition. I have the 2015 edition with some extra songs that were on this edition. There's also a free disc set as well. Which, if that's available. Anyway. 
Okay, I've got um, and a three disc set of the Everly Brothers. I got this at a charity shop just recently. Yeah. Slide out. Three disc set, as I said. Uh, I got a couple of drawn CDs from the library. Uh, Bruce Springsteen chapter of verse compilation that came out to a company's autobiography, which I've got. There's a book in there as well. I already have this. wasn't too bad to have a backup. Johnny Cash the classics covers a little bit, yeah, but it's not too bad, really. That's for the music I get these things for. Quite a lot of songs in there. And I got a few CDs from Glasgow when I went back there again. The Rolling Stones, Jump Back, the best of, 1971 to 1993. So yeah, I've got a lot of stuff in there, some of their later songs there. Got a couple of ones there. Buddy Holly, 30 old time greatest hits. So yeah, just the hits on there. Unfortunately, the scent bit's gone. Elvis, from the heart. I've got a double the set of Elvises, but uh, yeah, do enjoy some of Elvis's hits, really. Might one day get the albums someday. I've got a couple from the charity shop. Wayne, uh, Oasis, Don't Believe the Truth album from 2005. Really like Oasis, they're one of my favourite bands. I'd like to get their vinyl someday, which I hope to do. But that's a 2005 album. This says the. I'm not sure if there are any hits on there, but they should hopefully be. And this is kind of music related, but I like this film, The Wayne's World soundtrack. This has um, Queen Bohemian Rhapsody to start with. Um, yeah, Wayne's World is one of my favourite films, so I just wanted to get the, the soundtrack of it. I got a CD from Sainsbury just recently. Uh, Queen, Greatest Hits, 1, 2, and 3. This has all the, th the three volumes of the Greatest Hits. I already have the first two, but I kind of wanted to get the third one, even though it doesn't have much recordings of Freddie Mercury on. But it's Greatest Hits 1. Of course, I got this on vinyl as well. I do quite like Queen, just started to get in their albums recently that you'll see in this video. Queen, Greatest Hits 2. And. After recording that video, I then I think quickly realised there was one thing I forgot to show, and that was a DVD. And this is the DVD I forgot to show: Johnny Cash, the man, his world, his music. This is what I got at Chat Shop. This is a 1960 documentary film that was made, and it's been shown on BBC and the BBC as well a few times as well. But it's a DVD, so is that on? So there's the CDs. Now I'm going over the singles. Got them from different places. The first few are from. Uh, Glasgow Summer Online Purchases, Summer from the Market and Sulkets as well, so, as I say, so, Elton John's Sacrifice, Backed with Healing Hands from 1990, I'm Sleeping with the Past, on the Rocket label, I've got an Everly Brothers EP, It's Everly Time, on Warner Brothers, came out in 1962, doesn't have the picture sleeve unfortunately, but still okay to have, so inside one we have, just in case, and I want you to know, and what kind of girl are you and some sweet day on the B-side as well? This is 1962 from the album It's Everly Time. Uh, Paul McCartney and Wings give Ireland back to the Irish with both songs on each side. With the two songs both on each side really, I don't mind, but An upgrade of Audio Speedwagon Here With Me single. I already have this but the sleeve's a bit ring worn and the record skips but this is in really nice condition and it plays really well. And on the B-side is Wherever You're Going It's Alright from on Epic 1980. It has a couple of stickers on but the sleeves in nice condition other than that. Jean-Michel Jarre, Equinox Part 5, back to the Equinox Part 1. Second Jean-Michel Jarre single on Polydor 1978. There's something cool about this one because when you hold it to the light, it's got Equinox written in the... I'll just try and get one up on it. It's got Equinox written on in the Dead Wax and John Jarre's signature written in the Dead Wax and it's got December 1978 written on it, so that's really cool there. Elton John, Blue Eyes and Hey Papa Legba. This is from 1982, it's one on the Rocket label. Kiss the Bride, backed with Dreamboat. And 1983, that one. 
and a bit early, but I know it's not the season yet, but I can't really like this single. Slade, Merry Christmas everybody, and don't blame me. I do quite like Slade, might get that album someday. Okay, now we're going over to the more interesting bit, and that is the album. So we're going to start, in a particular order, with Johnny Cash, American 5, 100 Highways. Johnny Cash's last six albums have been with this producer, Rick Rubin, on the American label. I've got the fifth one. I'd like to get them, the, the, all the all ones. I've got them all on CD, but I've got the fifth one on vinyl. Um, this came out in 2006. Quite tricky to find. It's The originals are tricky to find, but you can get the reissues. I was going to get the reissue before this, but I saw this on eBay. I thought, yeah, I might as well get it. Um, I also like to get the other American albums as well. But I really like some. This is a really good one. I like Help Me. I like the 309. Further on up the road. I came to believe love's been good to me. A legend in my time. Rose in my heart and I'm free from the chain gang now. But the album is brilliant. The whole album is brilliant. Even though this was some of the last recordings that Johnny made in his lifetime before he passed away. Uh, in a sleeve. And liner notes from producer Rick Rubin. And American Recording. I really like that label design. See, that one. There we, go. we have uh, another one I purchased. Audio Speedwagon. Life as we know it from 1987. Um, this was okay. It wasn't really one of the best. There were some really good ones like That Ain't Love, In My Dreams, and One Too Many Girlfriends, and Can't Get Out of My Heart. And Tired to Get Nowhere were really good. But the album was okay. It just wasn't really any memorable songs on it, to be honest. But maybe it needs to get a few more listens before it grows on me. But I do quite like the cover. It's quite colourful and whatnot. And I like that picture of the band. This is 1987, this album. In a sleeve of the lyrics. And we're on Epic Records for this release. Still on Epic Records at this point in time. Because RSB went did change labels in the, the 90s. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, and I was in my circus market where I got some vinyls. I have Under a Raging Moon by Roger Daltrey. This is his 1985 album. I quite like the cover for this one. Um, I've got two other Roger Daltrey solo albums. This is my third one. Um, see, I haven't yet heard the album. Should hopefully be pretty good. It's on 10 records, this one. In a sleeve with the lyrics on, and 10 records. Oh, let's get some slide back in. I also quite like the, the back picture as well. I have the Rolling Stones, English newest hit makers. This is the American version of the first album. It's not an original. It's a 2003, yeah, 2003 Abco reissue. Um, I've also got the 2003 reissue of Beggar's Banquet. And I've got this one. Quite like this album. This is a quite good first album. Um, the songs there. The band liner notes as well. I would like to get the original UK of the first album, but that can be quite hard to find. I would like to get the British track list as well, but this will, this is pretty good. And we're on a customised label, and the sound of this one is really good. I've also got the 2003 reissue of the Beggar's Banquet album as well, as I said. That I showed in my uh, last vinyl, two vinyl updates back, I think I showed it, that one. But uh, yeah, it's nice to have this one. English news for We have... Uh, Johnny Cash and his woman, Jim Carter Cash, 1973. Again, nice addition to my Johnny Cash album. I mean, do like their duet, Jackson, so this should be a good album, hopefully. I haven't yet heard it, but it should be good. Needs a bit of glue at the top, though, but there's the inner sleeve. And we're still on the CBS label, the original orange CBS label. A bit dusty, needs a bit of a clean, but other than that, it's Okay, then we have, uh, this is a classic album, but everyone knows this album. I've already got it, but mine's not in great condition, but I thought I'd get this one. Foot and Mac Rumours. Of course, everybody knows this album. It's a classic album, really no explanation needed. I've heard it before. Yeah, it's a really good album. Um, there's the songs there. Oh, songs at the top. So yeah, just, just a really, 
good album this one. Of course I had to get this it's classic. It's got its lyric insert in it. Do already have this one, but mine doesn't have a cover and it's really really scratched. But this has but this is in really good condition. Ron Warner Brothers. It's an American pressing, but hey, yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's got 1977. Okay, I was in Glasgow, and as I said, I got vinyls. This was the first time I went within this month. Um, I went to the Rockstar Chart Shop and I got Ideal Speedwagon, A Decade of Rock and Roll, 1970-1980. to 1980. This is a compilation of early recordings from the first sort of 10 years. It's a gatefold double album. Some cool notes about it was that when I saw it, it had a ticket for one of Ideal Speedwagon's concerts. Tell, sell ticket in the back it's at the Glasgow Royal Concert Hall on Monday the 7th of June to... 4th of June 2007, sorry. <laughs> Uh, would like to see Adios Speedwagon live there. Seems like a good live band. So I've heard this compilation, it's really good. It's on Epic Records. I know this was kind of before High Infidelity, but this compilation is really good. This one. It's got a lot of good songs in there. In their early recordings, because they are definitely lead singers before um, Kevin Cronin uh, joined the band as well. But, but yeah, they were still great. You know, they are still good. There's the band at the time. The lineup has changed in between them. I got Bob Dylan Greatest Hits. This is an American import. This has different track lists to the British one. It also has a different cover, which I own the British one. And we're on Columbia, 1967. Just release, I think. So there's that. Okay, I got a few albums in a record shop. I have Buddy Holly's album, which is called Buddy Holly. This was his solo album, I think. Because he was with the Crickets, but I think he made a solo album as well that had hits like Peggy Sue on, uh, Everyday Rave on, Listen to Me, hits like that. There's that. There's the liner notes. It's not an original from the 50s, it's a 70s reprint, but it was it was cheap enough, thought I might as well get it. And we're on MCA Coral. The original is just on Coral, but this is an MCA Coral release. Signs? No, <laughs> my in case you can hear them. I don't know if you can, but just in case you can. But and I got this is one I've been looking for for a long time. John Lennon and John Lennon's Plastic Got a Band Arm. This is his first arm from 1970. Can be quite hard to find. I was going to get the reissue of this again, but found this. I thought four pound fifty. Let's get it. Um, the cover's in quite good. I could just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Crease, but it's not not too bad. A bit of a sticker mark from the top corner, but it's not too bad. It's not in its original in a sleeve though, but it doesn't really matter. It's an original pressing from 1970. And so, um, yeah, it's not in that great neck. It's got a big scratch on side two. I don't know if it's going to play well, because I found out it does, does jump. Um, but I might get the reissue, because finding an original this is really, really, it can be hard to get. It'll be a challenge, and depends on what condition it is as well. But, um, yeah, I've got it until I can get a reissue, then, well, yeah. Then I've got Buddy Holly Greatest Hits Volume 2. I've got Buddy Holly Greatest Hits Volume 1 in my last final update, and I've got Volume 2 now. It's a mono from 1970, but these recordings are mono, so we're on MCA Coral. I've got Coral as well, in association with MCA as well. Paul McCartney 12 inch single for Take It Away from his Tug of War album with I'll Give You a Ring and Dress Me Up as a, Just Dress Me Up as a Robber from 1982's album Tug of War it's on Parlophone so yeah if I get 12 inch I got the 7 inch so I thought I might as well get the 12 inch and I did quite like that picture of Paul in the front now I, and I was in the same place I got Killer's Hot Fuss album, this is their 2004 first album. Their first album with the big hits on Mr. Brightside, Smile Like You Mean It, Somebody Told Me and all those things that I have done. So yeah, really good first album with those three hits on. I mean, the Killers are just amazing band from the 2000s. Um, yeah, they're just a great band. This is their first album, which came out in 2004 originally, but this is their 2016 reissue. Picture the band. 
and on a nice custom label, the Killer's Hot Fuss. One side's white and the other is red. That's quite cool. I like the cover of this one, but the, the buildings is quite a cool one. Okay, I got went back to my market. I've been there a few times this week and I've got some things. The Who the Singles, an 80s compilation of their singles pretty much. <laughs> Not really what to say, but I did, there's some songs that are missing. Even though some songs were released as singles, they're missing like Can't Explain, Anyway, Anyhow, Anywhere. Those were singles. Kids Are Alright as well. That's not on here as well. Um, and neither is... Uh, what else is not on here that was a single? Um, the Seeker as well isn't on here, which is strange. So yeah, a lot of big songs that The Who had were, are, are singles are not on here for some reason. But yeah, hey, it's not don't know that. It's a good compilation from 1984 this release. And we're on Polydor. So yeah, nice re addition to my Who collection. This was one of the this was one of the records that got me into the Who. Anyway, because we were holiday in France my mum and we got a CD, a double CD of the Who's and we listened to it in the car a lot and when we got back my, my parents one of my parents had this record and I would listen to it quite a lot and so I thought I'd get my own copy. This is one I've been looking for for a while. This is quite a rare one as well. Electrolyte Orchestra, Out the Blue, their 1977 double album with Mr. Blue Sky on and Wild West Hero as well. And Sweet Talking Woman as well and Turn to Stone as well. What an album it's going to be if it's got those songs on. And I really love the cover. I'll show you. See that? It looks really cool with the ELO spaceship on the the front and on the, in, on the front of the album. And then the inside we've got this. It's just, so yeah, really love the design of this. It's just looks really cool, doesn't it? <laughs> In a sleeve with the lyrics. Unfortunately, it does not have any of the inserts. It comes with a poster of the band and a like ca cardboard cutout insert with like the ELO spaceship on, which unfortunately doesn't have that. But this was not too bad. This price. I thought I might as well just just get it really. And the second record, same on Jet Records, nineteen seventy seven. Yeah, ELO out the blue. Okay, this is a vinyl box set I got in the market. Elvis Presley's Greatest Hits. I do quite like some of Elvis's songs, but then it's not one of my absolute favourites, but the Greatest Hits would do me at the moment. Um, might get the album someday. Um, don't know. If he does become one of my favourites, then I will get an album, the, his albums. But he did quite a lot, so yeah, that might be a bit of a challenge. But anyway, we're going to try and do it. Yeah, this is the whole song. Six LP set. Opens up like that. And it has show you six records. Different photos of Elvis really from the ears. Do you know my last final I bought a Elvis Presley um double album set of his hits. Um so this is quite a big collection of hits really. And there's the last one. And in fact, I've learned something quite cool. Um, the back of the the album has like different picture of Elvis from the jumpsuit. When you put the back of the albums together, you make a poster. And that's quite that's something quite cool. Um, I think it was supposed to come with a book. Some copies have a book, and some have a bonus LP with Elvis in the movies. But don't have that yet. But this doesn't have it. But uh, this was cheap enough. I mean, I've got some of the other film songs on the on another Elvis compilation. So. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad, but I do like the cover for this one. It's a really nice picture of Elvis with the guitar. Got online purchase is an upgrade copy of Audio Speedwagon's High Infidelity. My last one on that one, I played that copy to death and I wore it out. Uh, but this, this is a nice copy on the Epic label with the inserts, with the lyrics on the other side. So yeah, really nice to have. What's that? So yeah, nice to get an upgrade of this album. It's one of my favourites, you know. My, one of my absolute favourites that album. Now I've got another upgrade, my one's missing the ins some of the inserts, but Elton John, Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. So original on DGM has all the inserts, it has the poster, and it also has the two books. Well, my copy doesn't have the poster and only has one of the books, so it's nice to have that. This is the scraps book and the lyrics book as well, so yeah. 
so I managed to get a complete copy there. And the original and the record on DJM. Like the original. It's not in a bad condition actually. As well, my copy's in really good nick. My one's in really good nick as well. Um, so this is nice to have a complete original Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy with the insert. So I've got a few Queen, now four more, and these next three are Queen records. So I've just started collecting Queen albums. We have The Game from 1980. So yeah, I really like the songs, Play the Game, Another One Bites the Dust, Crazy Little Thing Called Love, and Save Me as well. But the whole album is really good. This came out in 1980. I quite like the design of this one, like the tinfoil sleeve, and you can honestly see the reflection. Hello. <laughs> and I really like the cover as well. They look really cool in there, like the jackets, the band. In a sleeve of the band. Lyrics on the other side, and just a customised Queen the Game label. And this is on EMI. So yeah, there's that one. So yeah, Queen been a latest thing for me, an album, a band where I collect their albums. I've already got their album, The Works, and I've already got their greatest hits, but uh, this helps my Queen collection. Hot Space, I know not one of their most popular albums, but it does have the big hit on Under Pressure, which was a duet with um, David Bowie. Uh, but uh, I'm not too sure what the other, rest of the albums like. It might be good. And again, I like the cover, like a very colourful cover as well. In a sleeve with the band again, lyrics on the other side, and just again, customised label. And there's also a tribute song to um, the Beatle John Lennon called Life Is Real, Son Song for Lennon. So I'm not sure what that's like, which I don't really good, but it's Queen of Space. Last album, this is probably and the next last Queen album is probably one of their bigger albums, A Kind of Magic. Which had the big hit on Kind of Magic. As well as hits like One Vision, uh, Who Wants to Live Forever? Um, yeah. Song for that. Gatefold. In a sleep with the lyrics as well. This is 1986 album. Hot Space was 1982. And the last one I have to show is a really rare one to find. Not as rare as probably not as rare as the Johnny Cash album. But this is pretty rare. This next one can't get it anywhere in Britain. But I managed to find a copy. It's being sold in the UK as a bid on eBay. But I thought I might as well get it, and I want it. Adios Speedwagon, The Hits. This is a 1988 compilation of some of their songs. I do already have an Adios Speedwagon Hits compilation, but this is good for a reason, because it has two new songs that you can only get on this release on vinyl, which are I Don't Want To Lose You and Here With Me. I mean, Here With Me has been released on compilation CDs, but you can't get I Don't Want To Lose You anywhere else, except for this album, probably. Uh, but yeah, this is an original US press from 1988. In a sleeve with a picture of the band. This is this had this is the last release with Alan Gratzer on drums and Gary Rich up on guitar because both of them left after the, the release of the hits and Life as We Know It. And we're on Epic Records. Nice design of the Epic label. So I've got two Speedwagon records coming in the post at the minute. They'll be in the next vinyl update whenever that is. And I hope we should get more Queen Arms as well. So there we go, that's final update 7 done, hope you liked this video, uh, keep liking, comment, subscribing or whatever, and uh, hopefully um, I should finally get around to reviewing Tom Petty American Treasure Part 2, which I'll do at some point this week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again.